Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. My job is to inspire your spirit. And today I hope to do that with an interesting conversation about two very well-known spirits in the afterlife. So let's talk about the similarities, the parallels between Elvis, Aaron Presley, and Prince Rogers Nelson. So two very famous musicians and entertainers. And as you know, I have channeled Prince for the past few years, ever since he crossed over. And because of that, the Above Life channel is really, really comes out of that work. It's really a, an extension of the channeling that I've been doing with Prince and doing it for so many other afterlife, afterlife voices. All right, so here's what I know as far as similarities that I've discovered by getting to know them and talking with them in the afterlife. And I want to know what you know. And so be sure in the comments below to write some of the things that you see as parallels between Elvis and Prince. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, their love of cars. And I know that might seem like a silly thing to start with, but to both of them, this is a big thing. They loved cars, fancy cars, beautiful cars, really appreciated fast cars. And so Elvis and Prince, cars, a big deal. Also, something that is, is really, it has been interesting to me to see is the, the connection that both of them had to Jesus in particular. As far as a spiritual figure or religion or spirituality, both of them very connected <clears throat> to the ascended master energy of Jesus. And that strong faith, that strong belief, and that particular connection to, to that one individual is, is pretty dominant throughout my conversations with both of them, even in the afterlife. And then providing the afterlife perspective Reflecting back, both of them have indicated that part of this uh, affiliation with Jesus or this adoration of Jesus really helped them in their human lives because Jesus was a man, an actual real person. And so that leads by example in anything's possible and healing is a part of life and anyone can be healed or can heal themselves as well. So. Just a real strong faith energy, but it's specifically connected to that one individual of Jesus. Now, obviously with music, one was Prince, which is his given name, and one was the King. So obviously they both have incredible following, incredible adoration, incredible respect from other musicians, as well as from fans all over the globe. And so that's a given. However, did you know that they both like blues and jazz, blues, rhythm and blues, jazz music, and New Orleans, that kind of jazz club, blues club at atmosphere is very appealing to both of them, very, very much so. And as far as historic uh, connections go, it's interesting how their legacies are both preserved in iconic locations, historic locations, with Prince and now his Paisley Park Studios in Chanhassen, Minnesota, and Elvis with his home in Graceland down in Memphis, Tennessee. They both have uh, actual places that, historic places that you can visit if you are a fan. And I have been outside the gates of Graceland, never went in like 25 years ago, randomly stopped on a road trip and for Prince I have been to to Paisley Park quite a, quite a few times probably five or six times as well I go on you know tours and um, I get invited to go um, with uh, some people who follow my work with Prince and also I do retreats and we go as a group we go to Paisley Park studio so good interesting place to visit now so both of these places also are the sites of their deaths both elvis and prince died in these places that were special to them that the places that they were living in at the time of their death they both did and so that's that's a, a fact as well and i believe 
also that both of their remains are also on location or site. I know Prince's are in the atrium area of Paisley Park Studios, and I'm thinking, I'm feeling like Elvis is as well. I know that he was buried someplace else, but I think that, um, or that his mo mother was buried someplace else or something, and his, his brother, and then I think that they were moved, I think that they were moved to the, the land on Graceland. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you can put it below. Um, but I think that the both, that feels right to me. That feels accurate. They both are charming. They both have style, that's for sure. And they got moves. Both of them got moves, that's for darn sure as well. And so those are kind of obvious things. But And um, if you haven't actually listened, I will put a link below to a conversation that I had early on with Prince about Elvis. And it actually is a conversation. I was channeling Prince and Elvis popped in and Prince brought Elvis in as kind of a joke to me. Like they set me up, they were pranking me a little bit, set me up a little bit. And uh, it was kind of funny. So they are friends in the afterlife. If you have afterlife friends, neither one of them has been reincarnated. And I've had that question um, from a couple of different people on both the videos of Prince and the videos of Elvis, <clears throat> if, they've reincarnated. No, they have not. And I don't think that they will, not any time in the near future. I mean, it's their choice. So yes, it is their choice to do that. But there's such a hold energy for the love and the, the well of energy that's created like um, both of these, uh, the places that people can go to, to visit and to feel their energy. I actually did a video about Ghost of Elvis or not at Graceland and that kind of thing. And so, I mean, he likes to be really connected, Elvis does, to the human experience. And Prince, because I channel Prince so much, I have like a really good rapport with him energetically. I know his vibe's really good, real good. Um, he most certainly is afterlife, 100% committed to spirit. Um, his energy though is at Paisley Park. And when he connects with people or communicates with people who come to visit there, he really does you can really feel him there. You can feel him, not because he's a ghost, not because he, he's not as much as Elvis. Like Elvis kind of likes to do the fun. He, I feel like he's a prankster. He kind of likes to peek around the corner and might be able to catch a glimpse of him in the window, like a side profile in the window. Or he'll kind of lean against the edge of what looks like some kind of stone thing by the gardens and he'll just kind of lean against the edge. So if you take pictures, you might see an orb or a glimpse of light, that's him totally does it and he actually looks like you could actually see his body or his spirit form really cool just kind of subtly all of a sudden panning around on your family vacation and boom there's Elvis oh my gosh Prince does not show up that way he shows up energetically with the heart like just feels you feel his presence like you could be walking through pace particularly in that atrium area oh my goodness it's just like and this is not a promotion for Paisley Park Studios however if they want to be a sponsor, <laughs> they can contact me. An interesting part also is that Paisley Park and Graceland are actually under the same management company at the time that I'm filming this video. They have the same management company that did Graceland is also managing Paisley Park Studios. So interesting connections, right? Right, so. Now remember, I need your help for this one. Comment below, what are other similarities between Elvis and Prince? Or Prince and Elvis. And if you have additional questions, please post them below so that I can utilize them in upcoming future videos. This is Bridget with Above Life Channel. Remember, our goal here when we spend time together is to inspire your spirit, is to fill you up with hope. It's your life. So live it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for being here.